boom, boom, another dub for the Sooners. Coach Emmett Jones is on fire. And the Sooners land one of the top players in the state of Oklahoma for the 2025 class. Now, granted, we are in the party that 2025 is not a real year yet (laughs) because we still are working on 2024. But we are going to celebrate all victories that we get on the recruiting trail. The Sooners picked up a big one. Jaden Nickens, the wide receiver out of Millwood High School in Oklahoma City, keeping that OK prep agenda going, has committed to the Sooners. So let's talk about it. We'll talk about him. We're going to look at some measurables and uh, get excited. But before we do that, for the uninitiated, welcome to Unfair Sports. I'm your host, Jay. Thank you all for pulling up here on the YouTube channel. Hit the hit the comments. Let your boy know how you feeling about Emmett Jones and his capabilities of recruiting. Looks like he is maintaining fire with another commitment from a four star wide receiver. I want to know what you all are thinking. If you like the video, hit like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Go ahead and join this family. So let's dive into Jay Dickens, the four star wide receiver out of. Oklahoma City, Millwood High School, and why this is another significant win for Coach Emmett Jones. Let's look at the measurables. So, Jaden is listed at a multiple numbers based upon what service you go to. He's listed here at 6'3", about 170 pounds. I've actually seen on ESPN him rated at 6'5", and I'll explain why in just a moment. But wide receiver slash athlete, monster at Millwood High School, Four stars, consensus top 120 player in the country. On three has him at about 111. 247 on their composite has him about 119. And so he is one of the top players in the country. And so he's definitely someone to celebrate because Emmett Jones is back at it. I mean, that's what 10 commits since he's gotten here at Oklahoma from Tech. And he is on fire. The OK prep agenda is continuing with this athlete. And as you see, Jaden spent a lot of time up here. He's taking pictures with everybody. He is excited about being a Sooner. Kevin Sperry, the quarterback that committed at the beginning of the year for the 25 class, is on it when it comes to recruiting his counterparts, and he wants the best of the best. Now that he's transferred to Carl Albert, man, you <laughs> expect more Oklahoma athletes to pull up. And there's another one I'm going to talk about in another video later today, but Jaden is out here being a beast. Now, when you watch the film on him, this is the crazy part about him. Watching all of this film, he's fast. He plays fast. He's not someone that's easy to catch. Uh, He also plays basketball. And so that's where that 6'5 comes in. When I saw him on ESPN site for basketball, ESPN has him listed at 6'5, about 170 pounds. And so... I don't know. And he's a he's a four star basketball player. And so he out here hooping. He out here playing football. The man's a monster. And so my excitement about him is just the versatility you're going to see out of a player of his caliber. He has the capabilities of going everywhere. He's played both sides of the ball. Um, he had three interceptions last year as a junior. And he's also doing it up on the offensive side. And so as you can see, the breakaway speed, he's one of those players that's extremely hard to catch. Um, he's one of those players that you, you got to have, especially being an Oki and being as good as he is. He's not someone that you want to miss on. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a, it's a player that you want to make sure you get your hands on. Uh, academically, he, you know, keeps over 3.0 GPA. We don't talk much about that, but just the fact that he can break away and do part of the Millwood powerhouse that we've seen for years, that man can play. And he's agile. Look at the cutting ability. All as you can see. And then, like I said, Got to watch some of the basketball highlights. We'll do that at the end. But let's talk about Emmett Jones and what he's done since he's gotten here. And so at that 25 class, he's got, you've got Jay Nickens. You've got Elijah. In that 25 class, you've got Jay Nickens. You've got Elijah Thomas. You're adding Grayson Harris. And so not only getting the best players in the state of Oklahoma, but there he's branching out into other states. And just the fact that he's locking these players up for 25, that's three wide receivers for the 25 class that he has locked up. That's bananas. And even better, it's a combination of him and Brandon Hall doing the recruiting on the local guy. And Brandon Hall has some pretty good ties in Oklahoma. He's done well. And so, but now just watching him just break up the sideline and go, what more can you ask for? He's someone that is going to be, there's a potential opportunity for him to be elite for this team. So not to really overstate it, just look at the fact that top 
120 player, and I think he moves up the charts. 24-7 has him as like the 88th player on just their standard rating, composite top 120. Dude is a monster. And so there's a reason to be excited. We just got ourselves another really, really good one uh, from the state of Oklahoma, keeping that OK Prep agenda going. So that's Jay Nickens. Hop in the comments. Let me know how y'all feeling about this commitment. Also, tell me, what do you think about what Emmett Jones is doing? We would love to hear from you all because truth be told, man, we're stoked about this coaching. And and I plan on doing a video to go through all the players that he's picked up since he's been here. That's a great conversation piece as we prepare for the season. Definitely a reason to be excited. If you've made it this far, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. May as well go ahead and show some love. We appreciate all the support. Past 10,000, we're pushing for 20 now so that we can make this really something special. So YouTube says watch one of these videos. I highly recommend it because it's other commits for the 25 class. We can talk about that uh, another time. See you on the other side. Peace.